Hi guys! It's Mrs. Kelly or Miss Maddie or Miss Sweet Pea. For whoever knows me, knows me by, by a bunch of different names. But if you don't know me, I'm a middle school teacher at Greater Johnstown Middle School. Uh, but I also do a lot of, lot of work in summer camps with Bottle Works, which is awesome. I know right now it's a little crazy and for some parents at home, I'm sure uh, you're wondering what we can do with our kiddos. I know in the art room we have a plethora of art materials, but sometimes at home when you don't have access to all of your art materials, it can be a little difficult. But I'm going to show you some fun things you can do with just some regular household products that you probably already have at home. So I'm gonna first thing I'm gonna show you is two different air dry clays. I know you're like, well, Maddie, I don't have air dry clays. Oh, but don't worry, I know you don't, and that's okay. I got you. So here is my little. I'm gonna call it my little hope bowl. We just are gonna make a little pinch pot, but you can make whatever you want. Now, just a quick disclaimer: this air dry clay is fun. It's great. It's a little bit crumbly once it dries. So I also have another recipe that's a little bit sturdier. It's still a little bit crumbly, but when we're making things from home, sometimes they're not as great as your store-bought, but they're gonna do for today. So the first one we're gonna make uh, is real simple. You just need two products. You need your cornstarch. I'm just using this really cheap stuff from Walmart, and I will need some lotion. So I cut my lotion bottle in half so I can make sure I can get all of my product out because we wanna make sure we use as much as we can. I have my lo my lotion already measured out here. So for this, I like to use double the amount of cornstarch to lotion. So I'm going to use two tablespoons, which is the big spoon, two tablespoons of cornstarch, roughly two tablespoons, and we're going to use our lotion. It's, it's very strange, it's a really weird concoction, but I promise you it works great, it's awesome, it's fun. It's a fun thing the kiddos can help you with too. You guys can do it all together and you can make as much as you need. Let's see if we can get it all out. Every little last drop. Okay, I think that's all I'm gonna get out of there. So now I'm going to stir this together really, 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 really good. It's gonna be a little crumbly at first. I don't know if you can see, we're a little crumbly still. And if you're looking at it and you have that gut feeling that it just is not gonna come together real well, just take a little bit of your lotion, just grab a little bit more. I'm gonna stir this up. Get a little bit closer to you so you can see. When I'm stirring it up, you want it to be really nice. You wanna make almost like a dough. So when you're getting crumbly, like a little bit of like a cookie dough, that should be a pretty good consistency because we are going to then knead it together. I'm scrape as much as I can off. And then I have parchment paper here. So make sure you have parchment paper, newspaper, something here. So you're not going to ruin your counters. Not that it would stain. I don't think it will, but I want to make sure it doesn't. I'm going to take a little bit of my cornstarch. Just put this out and powder it. I'm going to get some on my hands too. It doesn't stick to I'm gonna take this all out. Like I said, it's gonna be a real weird consistency. It's gonna be a little crumbly. Just take your hands and smash it all together a couple times, knead it. Knead it together real nice. Okay, so. Gonna, it's gonna feel a little powdery. So if you ever worked with a model magic, it's very similar to a model magic. So then whenever you pull it apart, boop, it's gonna it's gonna rip a little bit. If it looks too dry, I have a little bit extra here, I'm gonna put this in. If it looks too dry, you can add a little bit more lotion. Another thing that you can do to make it last a little bit longer is if you take a little bit of petroleum jelly, a little bit of Vaseline, whatever you have, like literally just a tiny little bit, very, not very much on my finger. Make a little hole inside of your dough. Take that off and just rub that together. 
and that's going to make the life of your clay last a little bit longer. It takes about 24 hours to fully dry. It is a little crumbly, like I said, so if you have little, little ones, um, it might not work perfect. It could just be a fun exercise just to work with, let it dry, and then just let it go. But if your kiddos are a little bit older um, and are a little bit more gentle, you can then just take some regular, you know, mag not magic markers, but regular markers here and just color it. Uh, I call this my little hope dish, which I think we all need a little bit of hope right now. Put our little hopes and dreams in there. This is my dough with just my cornstarch and lotion. So it's super fun, super easy. I'm going to show you one more way to make another type of air dry clay. Like I said, it, it dries in about 24 hours. So if you want to make a little pinch pot, I'm going to show you how to do that with the other clay as well. So I'm going to put this away. If you do want to keep it for later, take a little bit of plastic wrap, put a little bit of your petroleum jelly or Vaseline on it, wrap it all up, and it should stay for a couple days, just perfectly fine. But it takes no time. You can make as many batches as you want. So the next, the next uh, clay I'm going to make is I'm going to make it using just a regular school glue. You can use just white school glue or you can use Elmer's glue. Whatever type, of, whatever type of glue you want should be perfectly fine. You might have to change the ratio a little bit, but it's not that big of a deal. You're going to want to put equal parts of your glue and your cornstarch. So we're having that cornstarch base again. So I'm going to use two, roughly two tablespoons of cornstarch. And then two tablespoons of glue. What I really like about using the glue is it's almost making like a slime. I know my kiddos at school love slime. I think it's really gross, not gonna lie. So you, you're starting to almost make like a slime, but it, then it does solidify real well and becomes more like a uh, clay doughy uh, texture. So it's not as gross. And then it dries, which, you know, like if they wanna make any sculptures out of it, it's real cool. So you're gonna mix it together just like we did the other. Mix it real, 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 real well. It's gonna get it's gonna get a little doughy just like the other one this one sticks together a little bit more when you're when you're stirring it unlike the lotion you really have to knead it well once again please make sure you have either parchment paper newspaper a tablecloth something down so you're not hurting your table and we'll make sure we have our cornstarch out on our table make sure it goes on your hands this one's real sticky we're gonna, it's gonna be really sticky. You wanna just get it all out onto your cornstarch. I'm just using a little kebab, like kebab, is that what it is, kebab stick? Something, skewer, whatever you wanna call it. So this one, like I said, it's real sticky. So if you're noticing that it's really sticking to your hands, like mine is, I'm just gonna take, I'm never gonna use this cornstarch for baking ever again. So I'm gonna stick my hand right in. I'm just gonna add a little bit more right on top. It's gonna feel like it's gonna fall apart. It's fine, don't worry. Just keep kneading it in your hands. So you can either knead it on your paper, but I just like to knead it in my hands, just back and forth, really squeeze it. And if you think it's getting too dry, just take a little bit of your glue, shake it a little bit, make a little impression inside the middle of your glue, inside of the middle of your uh, clay. Just put a little bit of glue in there. A little bit more than that. Just like that. So it has a little bit of a drop. I don't know if you can see that. And then mix it all up. This is real fun. The kids have a lot of fun with this one. It's real sticky. It's real oozy. But then it's fun. It's more fun for parents, guardians, because it doesn't make a huge mess then. You don't have slime that's all over your house in every single nook and cranny you could possibly be in. So about, if it gets a little too sticky again, take a little bit of your cornstarch, even what's on your table, stick it to it, roll it around. There's no perfect recipe for this. Yours, your cornstarch might be a little bit different than mine. Your glue might be a little different than mine. I think my glue is like four years old. So that also could be changing it a little bit. I'm usually making a lot of my art projects at school with the kiddos. So I mean, you really wanna knead it nice and good. So you have nice dough-like consistency. 
And when you pull it apart, woo! It's almost like, uh, like a model magic. So like I said before, if you've used that before, you know what I'm talking about. If you haven't, it's just like a real soft clay. So now I'm just gonna take half of what I made and I'm gonna make a little pinch pot. So you can make beads, you can make animals. It doesn't have, it, it's not gonna hold up the same as like a normal clay the kids might use in the classroom. It's like I said, it's more like a model magic. So it's not gonna hold its shape quite as much as uh, other clays might. But if I'm gonna make a pinch pot, which I think they're really cute, they're fun to make, which your kiddos might have made in elementary school or so. I'm gonna roll it around, I'm gonna make a little ball. And then taking this little ball, I'm gonna come closer to you. Can you move that a little closer? Thank you. There, now we can see. I'm gonna take my ball and I'm going to push a little circle in. I'm just gonna take the sides and I'm gonna pinch them up. I'm gonna keep going around, keep going around, keep going around. Do I get my sides raised a little bit? Now with this clay, you're not gonna to wanna to raise your sides too much or else it will fall in on itself. Just make small little sculptures. And then I'm gonna put it down. Oops. You can't see. Oh, there we go. Then I'm going to put it down. And I'm going to pinch the sides together. So like if, almost if you're making pierogies. If you ever made pierogies before, you know what I mean? Sides are gonna be pinched together. And we're gonna do that in a circular motion. So you're gonna have something like this and then you're gonna pull back out the sides. Then your pinch pot can look however you want it to look. Let it dry on a piece of parchment paper, a paper towel, paper plate, whatever. Just let it dry overnight. Oh, got some powder. <laughs> let it dry overnight and then you can either paint it, you can use just regular markers on it or you can just leave it white how it is, it doesn't matter. So the next thing I'm going to show you, we're going to move all this out of the way. So while I'm talking, while I'm talking, I'm just going to go over one more thing. So painting is super fun, but it can be super messy. And not everybody at home has paint. So I'm going to show you a real easy, fun way to make some homemade paint. So for this, I like to use a tray. So it keeps things nice and clean. I'm gonna get one piece of paper, just regular paper. And I'm gonna get a couple, couple bowls just of water and food coloring. Now, please be careful, food coloring stain. So make sure you're wearing a shirt that you don't care about or put your kiddos in a paint shirt or something and make sure they have, like I said, like a tray or something else that they can, they can paint on. So I'm just gonna take my food coloring and I'm going to drip it right into my water, maybe one or two drips. So this is a green. I'm gonna take my steer again. I'm not gonna point, use the pointy side, I'm gonna use the dull side. And I'm just going to mix that up. Take a towel, wipe it off, and I'm gonna make my next color. My next color, I believe this is like a pink one or two drops again in other water. Take your skewer, mix it up, wipe it off. We don't mix all of our colors together, unless it's what you wanna do. A little bit of blue, maybe just one drop of blue. Oh, drop my lid. And then I'm going to take my last, my vibrant pink or purple. Oh. Do one or two drops in there. I'm gonna switch my paper out because I just got food coloring all over it. It's okay. New piece. Gonna mix up my purple. So you can use paintbrush. You have a paintbrush at home. If not, a little crazy, just use a Q-tip. Just use a Q-tip. So I'll take my Q-tip and I can just paint. They're not gonna be anything great, but they'll be fun. You, know, you can't really see that line. So we can mix our colors together, see what happens. We get a new Q-tip, make some little fun squiggly lines. So 
See what happens whenever you mix your colors on your paper. A little bit of a purple. So just, just to use it, just to make some fun little zigzags, little fun designs, you can mix them together. If you have a paintbrush, it's gonna work a little bit better for you even there. But those are just some fun things that you can do with just regular household products you probably are gonna have at home or you can run up to the dollar store and get. Um, if you have any other questions or want to see some other home tutorials, either uh, comment down below and I'll, I'll try to find some more or just go on to YouTube or Pinterest. That's where I got a lot of these ideas, just kind of looking around. Uh, but I'm going to make sure I post all of, oh, I've got some stuff on me. I'm going to make sure I post all of the instructions in the comments below. So make sure you look at that. But if you have any more questions, either just message me or uh, put in the comments below. But We'll see you soon, and hopefully Kittles is a big shout out to you. Just know I miss you so very much, and I cannot wait to see you hopefully soon. So be safe and wash your hands.